what's good guys welcome back to my channel and in this video i am going to be showing you how i apply my false lashes get your brooklyn beauty lashes link in the description before you even take your lashes you're gonna put on i like to put on mascara on my natural lashes before i even put the lash on i don't like to get any type of mascara any type of extra mascara on my lashes so i go ahead and put on my mascara first okay so now that i have my lashes coated i don't do a whole lot i just need them to be um coated so that they blend in with the lashes so now that i have that i'm going to go ahead and take my lash I use my fingers but you can use tweezers if you want um, and I just like to measure it up against my eye so that it's not poking me in the inner corner and it's not too long. So I am going to have to trim this because it's poking me on my inner corners and I just like to take some lash scissors. I have, I got these from ABH Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just gonna trim I like to trim the outer part because I like the inner part to um, be the same and I trim a little bit at a time because I would hate for my lash to be too short so I trim a little bit I measure it if I need to do more then I'll do more So this is perfect for my eye length. I'm gonna go ahead and trim the other one. And if you want to do eyeliner, um, if you're new to doing to putting on lashes, doing a, a line is gonna be a good way to kind of conceal the band. Um, because I know when I was first putting on lashes, it was hard for me to get it as close as possible to the lash line. But if you put a just a thin black line, it'll conceal that. But the way that I am going to show you how to put these lashes on, you won't need a line. This is a good lash. This is a good lash. Okay, so I'm going to use... You can use a brush. Um, but I have this Duo Glue. It's the black one. And I like the black one because it kind of serves as an eyeliner for me. So you're just going to put a thin coat. And then you're going to let it get a little bit tacky. You want to make sure that you don't get any glue on the actual lash hairs because that's going to be a disaster so i'm going to let them get tacky for about 30 to 45 seconds i'm going to find a mirror you want to get a like a handheld mirror um i'm just going to use this one because it's closest to me but you know if you have a mirror definitely get something that you can hold what we're going to do is hold the mirror here and look down do not do this but keep your head straight and look down in the mirror you can see exactly where to place the lash when you do it this way if you look straight ahead you can't see exactly because your lashes are in the way um you can't see exactly where to put it so if you put the mirror here and then look down into the mirror you can see and with the black glue you can kind of tell when it gets tacky because it kind of it gets the gray gets darker and darker so you can kind of look at it and see when it's time for it to be um ready let's see if i can show y'all so it's a little bit darker it's a little bit darker so i'm going to go ahead and put it on
Okay, so as you can see, I like to place it in the middle first just to make sure that it's even on both sides. And then for some reason, I do the inner corner first and then I do the outer corner. So I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. But you can see how close we got to the lash line. Once you have them on, I like to go back and just press my natural lashes with the false lashes. So I'll just do like this. And there you have it. You have a lash. This lash is poppy. This lash is fire okay this lash is noir by brooklyn beauty lashes here's the box super cute um all the information on these lashes will be in the description box below but that's how i apply my lashes i'm gonna do the rest of my face and i'll be back Ryan Little. <laughs>